Hello, Alex Cole here with Bobcat Kim. So in this video, what I want to cover is work offsets. So work offsets are a function that you use on your machine tool to effectively define where your program is going to run inside the work envelope of that machine, the travel that the components can move around to. So when you're thinking and working with work offsets, there's two things that you have to remember. You have to remember the relationship from the, the program that you generate in your CAD CAM system, or if you're writing it by hand, uh, but here we're talking about a CAD CAM system, where the zero is for those coordinates that you are generating, and then on your machine tool, where are you defining that uh, work offset zero location in the travel of the machine? So in in the software here, I'm going to click on my setup and it's going to highlight the nomen um, for the machine setup. And we can see that our XYZ zero for this two inch by two inch square is right at the center of this square. And I've gone ahead and created two machining operations. These are just identical profile operations that are running around the outside um, or, you know, running around this two by two um square that we have on the screen. Okay, so what exactly are these work offsets and how does the machine know what work offset we're using? So if we post this code and we take a look at it over here, we can see in the G code program that we have for this first operation, it's set to G54 and the second one is set to G55. Now, we'll get into how that's actually determined for the system to output those numbers in just a second. Um, but on your machine tool, um, standard FANUC work offsets, you have G54 through G59. And then depending on your machine and what options it has, you can have extended work offsets as well. And those can be an infinite number of them. Uh, some of them might be G54.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, or G54.1, P1, P2, P3, all the way up through P10,000 or P999. Again, that will vary based on what your machine controller has for options and so on. But the standard set for FANUC and Haas and things like that are G54 through G59. And the principle is the same for all of them. So when the machine sees this G54, that tells it what set of coordinates to work off of for the relationship as to where zero is. So let's look at some other stuff on the screen here. So I've created a rectangle that represents the work envelope of our machine, the machine that we're using for, for this example. And though I have programmed my square down here in the lower left corner and that part origin for G54, G55 is set to the center of that square. At the machine tool, if I configure my workpiece offset values, so these are a register in the machine where you'll have to define the um, X, Y, Z coordinate positions relative to the machine's home position as to where this point on in the work envelope of your machine is located. So I'm going to turn on this other layer here, which is just giving us an example of two different positions. And these two positions, if I pull up my dimensions here, we can see the first one is over 10 inches in X and it's up 12 inches in Y. And then that second location is 20 inches in X and 12 inches in Y. So if we have a program where we simply um, generate two, um, <clears throat> two profiles around a part, like we have right here on this rectangle. So I've got two different operations and one is set to G54 and one is set to G55. If we backplot these in the CAD software, we will simply see them cut in the exact same location. But on the machine tool, by changing the work offset register, the machine will actually shift and run them 
at whatever location we define in the travel of the machine, like we saw with these, this example of a work envelope and the two locations within that table. So, <clears throat> excuse me, let's go back and actually take a look at the um, operations and see where we configure which, you know, what work offset value is being output in the program. So by editing my first operation here and going to the posting page, we have this posting parameters group. And under this group, we have this work offset uh, box. And when we select this box, this is actually controlled by the post processor in the, CAD, in the software um, to determine how many different work offsets you have and you know, what this number runs up to. So work offset one is gonna be G54. If we set this to two, it's gonna be G55. So this operation is set to a one. And if we look at our second feature and the operation in there, we can see that that's set to a value of two. And when we generate the NC code, when we run the post processor and look at the NC file, we can see that our first operation is giving us a G54 and our second operation is giving us a G55. So again, the way that the offset registers are supported on your machine is something that's gonna be machine specific, um, but this gives you an overview of the concept of how these offsets are used on a machine, and you should be able to look at your manufacturer's manual, and they'll have a section uh, defining and describing um, how you set the workpiece offsets on your machine. But you should be able to see by, uh, you know, after, after going through this, that you can program, and as long as you know where the CAD origin is on your part, uh, or the zero location for where you wrote that program in the CAD CAM system, you can then take and move that program around on your machine tool uh, within its work envelope by altering your work offset values and uh, you know modifying the values in the, the work offset register that correlates with the value that's being output in your NC program. So I hope this helps and that's all for now. Thank you.